And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, recently Target got a whole pile of new games that were exclusive to their store, and some of them were games that I had, I, knew, well, I was like, wow, new Ticket to Ride, a new Machi Koro, but there were other games too, including Stick Stack, a game of tilting tactics. Now this was a game I was interested in because I, I think the cover is nice and stark. It's from a company I hadn't heard of before, and I do like dexterity games where you stack things on top of each other. It's an interesting concept. Let's take a look. In stick stack, you're going to have a tower here. Now this tower has a, a stick on it, and this is placed on here with a, there's a spring here in the bottom, and on top is this tray, and so the whole thing is kind of wobbly. You can see that it springs back and forth like that. There's some colors on the top, red, orange, and blue, green. And so on a player's turn, they're going to reach into this bag. This bag has a tightly wrapped head, and there's a lot of sticks in it. Each stick has ridges on it. it uh, you, if, it's hard to... Uh, see them, but there's little ridges on them and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it on the tower Now when you place a stick on the tower, you have to touch all colors to the exact same color So for example, I, I, I could do that the blue is touching blue orange is touching orange But more than likely I might do something like this see that fits under the base and white is touching white Green is touching the green and so on a player's turn They're doing their best not to make it fall over or to make any sticks fall off as players play. So you can see as time goes by, let's draw a few more sticks here. Uh, maybe this person does one like that. Then this person here has a green red. So they decide to do this. And because they have ridges, you can actually, they can actually be held in place. Here's a green green. Let's place that one there. And an orange orange. I don't think I can reach that. So we'll just place that one here like this. And so players are going to take turns going back and forth, and you can see it, there's, it's a little wobbly now, but as we put more sticks on it, it's going to get more and more wobbly. Let's see, we have another orange-green. Let's put that one there. We have an orange-red. And it, the sticks are not hard to put in position and place them, it's just that you don't want to make anything fall over. Now, if a stick falls off, like I just did and the stick fell off, I put that stick in front of me. On a future turn, I can draw a stick from the bag and play it, or I can play one of the sticks in front of me. And you, you obviously want to do that because the sticks in front of you are, are, are points, and you don't want points in this game. An orange-white, do you think I can pull that off? Let's see. Nice. Now, you'll notice that the sticks can slide around and stuff, and they might not match colors at that point. That's fine. That's, that's totally legitimate. Now, I'm going to place this one here. We're getting a lot of these on here. This might not fall over ever. There's a red. Now I got a green green. Now I got an orange green. And here is a white green. An orange white. Oh man, let me see if I can do this one properly. And an orange green, you'll notice that the lengths aren't always the same too. So if, if, if you think this is uh, looking a little wobbly, yeah, the, you're, you're correct. Mm -hmm. An orange-red. A red-orange again. Oh man, maybe I can just do a simple one like this. Look how wobbly the thing is starting to get at this point in time. And I really like this aspect of the game as the whole thing is wobbling back and forth. Let's see, we got a, a red-green. One that's all red. This one's going to be hard. Well, there you go. Now, when a tower falls over, whoever knocks the tower over gets five points immediately. Or if all the sticks fall off the tower, 
you get five points. Everyone else will get a point for each stick that's in front of them when that happens. Uh, and then you're going to add up your scores. And if someone has gotten to 11, the game's over and the lowest score wins. Otherwise, if it hasn't got to 11, you put all the sticks back in the bag and you try another game. That's pretty much the game of Stick Stack. Now, Stick Stack has a lot of good things going for it. The pieces are really good quality. These sticks bend very easily. I really like that they have those ridged edges that lets them go into each other. You can really get some good setups. There's a lot of games where you're stacking things on top of something and then you're hoping it doesn't fall over. But this one here, the tilting thing, has this spring on the bottom of it. And I like that. This actually has some similarities to um, Tip It or Tilt It. Um, and this game has the same thing, but I feel like this one is a sturdier product. It, it's really good. And these sticks are really good quality. It's easy to teach people and get into. My only complaint is this bag here, the top of it is so tight that it's really hard to get the sticks back in the bag when you're done. Um, you have to, I, I have to put them in a couple at a time to get them in. Uh, that's a minor thing though. Uh, the fact that, that you can put them in the bag, you have this, this comes apart very easily. Uh, you put it into the box and carry it around. Very simple game. It works for kids, works for adults, plays very quickly. Like I said, easy to teach, matching colors. You can try all kinds of weird things, make it so it's tilting real hard for the next person. You can play it safe. Uh, I haven't yet seen all the sticks get on, but we've seen them almost get on, so we're wondering if that's possible. Uh, just a lot of fun, and it, it just feels different. It's doing something that a lot of games do. Stack stuff on top of things, don't make it fall. But this one has a different kind of feel to it, and it also looks good and feels modern at the same time. It feels like an Ikea um, uh, game. I don't know why it does that. But anyhow, that's Stick Stack. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.